Today, as we gather to celebrate Easter, I am acutely aware of the bittersweet emotions that fill our hearts. While this day is traditionally one of joy and renewal for me and many of you, it carries a weight of profound loss. My heart is heavy as I speak to you, grappling with the reality that both of my parents are no longer with us. Easter, for many, symbolizes hope and resurrection. It is a time when we reflect on the promise of new beginnings and the triumph of life over death. And yet, as I navigate this journey without my beloved parents by my side, it's hard not to feel a sense of emptiness and longing. My parents were more than just individuals who gave me a better life. They were my pillars of strength, my guiding lights through life's trials and tribulations. Their love truly knew no bounds and their absence leaves a void that can never be filled. But even in the midst of grief, I find solace in the memories that we shared. I remember their laughter, their words of wisdom, and the unconditional love that they showered upon me every day. Those precious moments are etched in my heart forever, serving as a beacon of hope during these dark days. So as we commemorate Easter this year, I am reminded of the ultimate sacrifice made by a loving Savior. Jesus Christ's resurrection serves as a powerful reminder that death is not the end, but rather a transition into eternal life. It's a promise of reunion and redemption for all those who believe. The word resurrection is quite literally defined as the act of bringing someone back to life or bringing something into use or existence again. I feel as if I have begun my own journey of my own resurrection and the coming back to my life in the wake of my parents' deaths. Today also marks the nine year anniversary of the passing of the inspirational Carly L. Allison. In her own words, she reminds us that even in the darkest days, it is a beautiful life. So today, as we continue to mourn the loss of my dear parents and continue on our own paths of resurrection, let's hold on to the hope that one day we will be reunited in a place where pain and sorrow no longer exist. Until then, let us honor their legacies by living lives just as they did, filled with love, compassion, and faith. To all those who have lost loved ones, especially during this Easter season, I extend my deepest sympathies. May we find comfort in the knowledge that even in our darkest moments, we are truly never alone. And may the spirit of Easter remind us that love conquers all and that hope springs eternal. Happy Easter.